Hello everyone, this is the Knife Crazy here, and I am going to be do doing a review of the RC car that you guys saw in my last video. RC Sumo is tearing up tech deck ramps. Alright, here we go. Alright, well, here's the first part of the review. This is the controller that comes with your Red Cat Sumo. As you can see, it's pretty basic. You have a little, a little steering trim, a throttle trim, your steering... And your forward reverse motions, you know. Then on the top, this is your trigger or your power switch. And as you can see right there, it tells you how many how much power you have in your controller. Right now, it's kind of between halfway and full, so I'll probably need to change those soon. And basically, the way you you change the batteries is you pull off this slot, and then it's kind of a pain. They all kind of fit in there. It takes eight, which is kind of bad because people say it's a lot of money to be putting into a controller but at the same time pe those same people say buy rechargeables but the buy recharge but the buy eight rechargeables and then another four just for the car is some and the charger is probably gonna be somewhere around 60 bucks ish so yeah as you can see, I'm having a hard time getting this thing back on because you always do. Alright, hold on. Alright, as you guys can see, sorry, I had some technical difficulties there. I could not get that little piece back on. Turns out I had a battery that was popping out a little bit and it was just messing with it. So I could not get that back in there. Alright, now back to the controller. I'm going to turn this off now. As you can see, right on the side there, there's a little port. Which here, I'll make it a little bit easier to see. Alright, there it is, right there. There's that little port. All that's for is if you want to charge the battery. If you have rechargeable batteries, you can just put the little cord in that comes with it. And you can charge the batteries right in the controller. I have to take them out and putting them in a, control in a charger. So that's a pretty convenient up. I do like that feature, but I don't have 12 rechargeable batteries. Only 4 for the... Or 8 for the car. So, alright. And now, basically... That's about it for the controller. It has an antenna. It gets probably eh, 30, 40 feet maybe at the most. Then you start losing signal. And the problem is it is AM. So once you do lose signal, it'll start going nuts trying to fry its own servo and blasting off. And yeah, it's not fun. And one more thing. On the back, this is where your little uh, crystal is. You, just, you can just pull it out and it tells you everything about it I think mine is oh, sorry wrong way mine is the, this is the TX it's the 26.995 so basically 27 megahertz and this says number two and that it's AM and you know I really don't like these personally I don't like these controllers at all I think they're kind of obsolete but I guess for sixty dollars, you have to keep it competitive somehow. So yeah. All right, and that's review of the controller. And now on to what everyone actually wants to see, which is the car. All right, now on to probably the part that everybody actually wanted to see in this video: the car itself. The car is pretty good, I'd say. It, it's not bad it, for the sixty dollar price. You really can't beat it. And believe it or not, most hobby stores will actually sell it a little bit cheaper, somewhere around fifty. I got mine for. 45 at my local hobby store so yeah but they do not have a website so sorry guys and before i really get into it one thing i noticed is with this controller what happens is with, with the end with the car when the con when the you see this little antenna when you when it goes like that while you're driving it it kind of stutters and shakes around does all these weird things well i found if you don't want that to happen anymore you can just stick the little antenna in the back. Ugh. Oh well. Just like that. So that's pretty. That's a really nice feature. And basically. Here. This is the part that's going to be really tough. For the tires. For the tires. They're pretty good. And they're, they don't, there's no foams. But they really don't need them. Because they weigh so little. And they're, they're kind of soft. I wouldn't really recommend them though. I'd probably, I'm probably going to soak them in, like, gasoline soon or something. But if you really want to see the threads, basically, 
think this is tired. Basically, it has a little hole in the middle, and then it's kind of like a V-style thread, which is pretty cool. And it, it, it works pretty well, but they're so small, they really can't go over anything that well anyway. But yeah, it's basically the outside of the cart. Now, into the inside. Gotta take off these little clips. Which, by the way, for the size... They did. They do work pretty well. They don't really bend. They don't. Um, sadly, I bought an extra pack of these things. I figured I'd lose them, like in all the big cars, like Revos and Crawlers. But surprisingly, you really don't lose them. So, oh well. And basically, what I have here is just the in the spec inside of the car, and inside I have Energizer rechargeable batteries because these things will cost you a fortune on batteries if you don't, and they also run a lot better. And right here, what I have, this little black slit thing right here, that's the motor. I have an upgraded, right from the Sumo website, 180 motor, and this is the little connector. So basically, when you get a new motor, you just, like, unclip the old one, put the new one in, and then take apart the rear, which is, like, six screws. It's one down in there, one down in there. And then these four, one, two, three, four. And then the whole rear comes apart, and then you can just mount it in right there, and then basically you have a brand new motor. I also on the back, I made the, I kind of modified the diffs a little bit. Yeah, you can hear my diff going around there because I actually fried it. But what I did was I siliconed it inside, so now it was like a a posi rear, but it kind of died after a while because I bashed it way too hard. I also, I'm not sure if you guys can can if I can get it to work. But it, yeah, it's fried in there, so it's kind of like just a basher till that micro comes for Christmas. And yeah, and then here's the spoiler. Eh, it's kind of stupid. You can't really do wing clips with it because it doesn't really go fast or acceleration at all. But and then the little servo, just a stock little servo that's actually frying up on me. But yeah, all in all, this car is pretty cool. I would recommend it as a starter car, but I would actually recommend that you also look into the low seas. But this is a great car for a younger kid. And then maybe by the time they hit 12 years old, I would recommend a Losi. A Losi Micro T, DT, or a Rally car. They're actually a little bit faster. So a little kid will probably crash it quicker. And these do hold up a, a lot better, in my opinion, than Losi's. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. It's a good little car, so it, it'll be fun. Nice little basher. Hopefully some more videos of bashing this thing like crazy. Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye.